Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a quick little comparison between the Galaxy Note 4 versus the Galaxy Grand Prime. Uh, my thoughts about these two devices I've used. Um, so, uh, first of all, when people hear Grand, this, they think that this device will be having a 5.5 inch screen or stuff like that, but that is not the case. This one having a 5 inch screen, you can see that. 5 inch screen, it looks like a bigger Galaxy S2 from the grave. Galaxy S2 has come back from the dead. You can see that same stuff there, same stuff like the Galaxy S5 in the back resembles Galaxy S3. The speaker, the camera, then the flash, then the Samsung logo, and that plastic with nothing, just plain plastic. Uh, while on the Note 4, of course, Note 4 is an incredible device. This is a budget device. Specs wise, design wise, camera wise, software wise, and everything, this device wins all those categories uh, in all those categories of course uh, but the reason to compare these two devices is that uh, Note 4 is for those people who are you know who wants to play a lot of games or capture a lot of photos with their phones and selfies and you know they are just smartphone lovers and have a lot of money to buy phones like the Galaxy Note 4 people like them uh, buys these devices, but of course, if you have a DSLR, and if you are looking for buying an only, only a normal Android phone that can run all the normal social apps um, without any problem, some normal games without any problem, get software updates, uh, uh, you can capture good photos outside. Of course, a megapixel LED flash, of course. Uh, then this device might be the choice for you guys. So this one is not a normal device. This is a budget device, but have a good processor, Snapdragon 4, 10, 64 bit, and definitely this device is going to get the Lollipop update because it's a newer device from the Samsung, and I'm pretty sure Samsung will going to update this device to Android 5.0 Lollipop. Now this device will offer you good battery life. It will also offer you a ultra power saving mode, which is borrowed straight from the Galaxy S5. And also that is the same mode that is available on the Galaxy Note 4. But of course Note 4 has you know a lot of different specs. They have fingerprint scanner, heart rate scanner, heart rate monitor on the back, a UV sensor, and you know Note 4 is like out of this planet. But still this one has some stuff there. And then it also comes with the 4.4.4 KitKat, which is currently uh, the second most uh, latest uh, software version uh, in terms of Android department. Then uh, you can also capture good photos. You can also you know, start off with some lot of apps and stuff like that, uh, which uh, are kind of optimized. And then also you have Samsung apps, Samsung Store, Galaxy apps, and stuff like that available on this device. Uh, so this device is uh, for those people who don't want to spend a lot of money on phones and spend, um, you know, don't want to buy high-end phones. Just want to buy a phone which will give you a good Android experience, good smartphone experience, you just, you just, just want to uh, you know, use 4G or um, you know, two SIMs at the same time or you know, do some normal stuff with their device then this device might be a good choice. Uh, but if you really want to go pro, if you want to play a lot of games, you want to show off and uh, capture photos using your phone, selfies, and if you are a high-end phone buyer, you, in the past then you can continue that and you can buy the Galaxy Note 4 without any problem you can close your eyes and then buy the buy this device and you will be amazed by the by its performance the almighty Galaxy Note 4 and a lot of people are very happy to buy this device and you can see that you can do a lot of crazy stuff with this device the S Pen is one of them so all in all I've explained why you should get this device, why you should get this device. It's not like a specs comparison review. I'm pretty sure that the Note 4 is a winner if we compare the specs. But I just want to give you my thoughts and that's what I've done. So thank you so much for watching this video. Like this video. If I missed anything, if you have any type of question, just comment down below. And I'll see you next one. Peace out.